Alright guys, pulling out one of the most special cars in the collection, Wide Body 6.0 560 SEC, man. You already know the Sofa Surfer, we're not playing. We love it. Thank you, bro. We're gonna be putting this in the Sprinter and uh, bringing it on tour and, you know, to get ready. The Patina boys with the Patina tools. So right now we got the yellow SL, the yellow on yellow, Carlson. Um, I already did the paint correction, so right now I just got um, my guy from Five New. He's doing the interior. He's redying the whole interior. So bringing that back. This one's coming to the Rosho as well, yeah. What are you doing over here? I'm um, doing the paint tracks and I'm doing it right now. Okay, so I'm bringing this paint back. I just started, so as you can see, I just did this side right here, putting my way back. It's gonna be like a quick, a quick, uh... This one, no, not really. It's a three step. How many cars do you guys bring? Six. Luckily though, luckily I did most of the ones that was Oh, okay, so... We're just good. a quick wash on the other ones? Yeah, basically, I'll probably like do like a wax with one of these So I gotta try to touch up this the KS because you see how it's like fading, the clear coat on it is fading. Like do something to get rid of the, the layer that's on it right now and redo that so it's popping because the KS is really what makes the car hit too. Put a Mercedes body kit on his phone. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Me and my brother in the Mecca. Daniel, how are you? Brother, Marhaba. Yeah, alhamdulillah, we're doing very well today. Uh, we're just blessed to be in this situation right now. Museum on the way, guys. All right, so, Anthony. Anthony. Anthony is in Germany. He's been in Germany. He doesn't want to come back. We're trying to get him to come back. He loves it over there. He loves working on these cars. He loves chasing these cars. Hey, guys, so we finally made it. It's a special car. Check it out. 123, this was originally a wagon. And what they did is they cut the roof line. Then they used the railing as a handlebars for the rear seats. Uh, the owner's currently telling me that they used it for Schutzenfeste. I think you can see it right there on the hood. It's like a shooting club, pretty much. Festivities and all that. And uh, the car was originally this beige color and then repainted into this Forest green, it has a bluish hue to it as well. Pretty cool. And I must say the interior is in really good condition as well. So, pretty cool. So Anthony is now deep in a German culture. Yes. He's our favorite German Jamaican. He's Jamaican. 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 And he's out there and he's deep in a German culture and he found a shooting club. And the shooting club, they go out, they shoot, they drink beer, whatever. And then afterwards they celebrate and the winner gets driven through the little town in the back of his Benz. And it's just basically a pickup truck with two seats in the back. Yeah, so he drove six hours. I sent him this thing very late at night. I went to sleep. And when I woke up, he was already on his way. He's like, I've been driving for three hours. It's obviously a six hour difference. He's ahead of us. So he's like, I've been driving for X amount of hours. I'm almost there. I'm going to get this car. The car was cheap. So we had to make it happen. And he already knew he didn't want to negotiate. He just shot over there, picked it up. And it turned out to be a very special build. Hopefully uh, we'll have it touchdown very soon. We are running out of space, so we did slow down all the cars incoming from all over the world, but another very, very special car. So this weekend, uh, this past weekend actually, was Cruzapalooza. We spoke about this event a few times. Uh, me and Daniel actually showed up. Very, very big event. I was actually, my first time there, it was very impressive actually. Yeah, so they've done it in Old School Square in downtown Del Rey a couple years ago. Then the whole thing happened with COVID. And so they shut it down there and did an alternate location that was smaller. Now they're back in downtown Del Rey in Old School Square. And it was a great turnout, it was massive. And uh, got to see Cruz, got to see other artists, got to see some dope bands play and some great some, music. Friend, some friends of ours out there, it was yeah. great. Great music, guys. Great news, we sold this CLK 55 yeah. uh, for right around 15,000 bucks. Right. So we were super happy we could raise that money and, uh, and give it to Cruz and his foundation to go do what they're doing and making a lot of change and helping support people out there with uh, spinal cord injury. Crew is a very impressive guy. Honestly, uh, a lot of uh, energy. Uh, the paintings that he makes are crazy. I was very wow. shocked. Um, a lot of people can't even do that with hands and feet. This guy's doing it with his face. So this man is elite. 
And uh, we uh, we look up to guys like him at the Patina Collective. So shout out to our guy Cruz. And we hope um, the CLK can help his benefit as much as possible. Yeah. It's, it's official, guys. Um, Fayetteville. Fayetteville, Georgia. June 3rd. The biggest meets the biggest once again. Shout out to our guy, Rick Ross. Showed us tremendous love last time. Lots of hospitality. What you want for that right there? It's not for sale, my brother. Everything for sale. This yeah. is... Wait, wait. Don't tell me you guys with the Patina Collective. Oh, damn. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, multiple uh, interactions with him last time. Lots of love, and we are working on future projects with him. So hopefully, uh, we'll be able to show it on the channel soon. But for now, we're just working on this car show. We're gonna go show him love, show the community love. Hopefully, we can bring back more awards like we did last year. We just went to participate last year and show love. We were very happy to win best luxury and best BBS. This year, uh, we're just gonna show up with six cars. We did eight cars last year because we drove both Maybachs up. This year, we're just gonna fly in. We have our guy Millionaire picking up six pieces from the collection, something very special, of course. And if you are looking forward to meeting us or want to see the cars in person, do show up to the Rick Ross Car Show June 3rd in Fayetteville, Georgia. We have a new guy that just came in. Um, you guys probably seen him in the past on the channel. His name is Wesley. You know, Wesley's been the type of guy that's willing to kind of come here and help out when he can along with Pierre. And so I feel that, you know, uh, him being now part of the team, having seen what we've going on on a day-to-day -day basis, made him really, really excited to be part of this. And so it's all love out here. You know, if there are projects going on or things that are happening, you know, for us, it's a, it's a movement. And so um, that people that want to join and be enthusiastic, that's important. So. You know, a lot of people reach out to us with a high level of enthusiasm. If you have enthusiasm and skills, you know, let us know. And if you're willing to make the sacrifice, you know, we want to work with you. You know, right now we're getting a lot more done than before. We're happy about it. And uh, he's a, a very thorough guy, like I said, and he's come from the cloth, man. Pierre trained this guy. He's uh, he's trained to get on the ground and work in the trenches. Mm. And that's what we need over here, the Patina Collective. People don't want to get their hands dirty. Mm. We heard some feedback on the last video we posted on YouTube. A couple comments in there saying that our boys at Car Audio Security, CAS TV, uh, actually shout us out. Our boy Raj out there and our other boy Raj who brought our car out there. See Raj is calling me right now from the UK. It wasn't even planned out. That's how tight we are <laughs> with our man them over there overseas. Brother, how are you? How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? You all right? I'm all right. Raj. <laughs> We're here with Vico. My brother. Yeah, did good. Vico? Chilling, brother. How are you? That's it, man. Just out here a lot. Keep the head above water. Yeah, man, we I'm appreciate sure You're thriving, brother. Come on, I know you're doing well. We appreciate everything you're doing, bro. Especially, uh, you know, taking that car out, the carrot, out to the car show, showing love to everyone out there. On our behalf. Right, listen, I'm, I'm telling you something, yeah? A lot of, like, I didn't realize how much attention that thing was going to get, but my goodness, did it get a hell of a lot. Too much attention. Today, he's bought some style. So we got a W126, but it's no ordinary W126. Yeah, it's a 1983 W126 Carat de Chatelet. It's got full body kit. The beauty of this car is that it's armored. Whose car was uh, this? You forgot to mention This that. car was owned by the owner of Harrods, Mohammed Al Fayed. This is one of his own personal cars that he right. was driven around in. When we, we talk armored, guys, Whoa! I can't even open it. Look at the glass. So, so the we glass got... is over an inch thick. The doors, the whole body, armored, sunroof delete, armored, underneath, bulletproof. bulletproof. Underneath it's got a sheet, so it's effectively bomb proof. Probably the safest place to put your money. Shut up and take my money. Well, as long as it's good attention. It's good attention, as long as no one knows where it's parked and they can't, you know, tinkerboard their way into the, the engine, you know, and, and drive the thing away. Good, good, good. Stash spots. Is that that you're looking at rusted through, yeah? Yeah, do you know what? It's, 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 I've seen worse, but it's, it's, I would buy it, man. I'll be honest with you. No problem. Thank we you, Raj. We have enough bullshit on our plate. That's the type of guy you want in your team. The guy that tells you the truth saying, don't buy it, even though he knows that, you know, it's good. People out there might try to make, he's always looking out for us. Thanks, Raj. Well, other than that, there's that Any good? Yeah, send me pictures. Are you interested in those if it comes down in price, it could work. All right, guys, pulling out one of the most special cars in the collection, Wide Body 6.0 560 SEC. Man, you already know the Silver Surfer. We're not playing. Let's go. Tina Boy. Right now with the 560 SEC Y body, six liter hammer. If 
took it out to Park Funnel Beach, a different location we don't usually do. Spinning it around the block a few times, you already know what it is. Enjoying that fucking 1176 liter hammer, nasty engine. Patina boys, you already know. Driving the 6.0 right now. Quad cam, 117, wide body 560 SEC, man, what a car. What a car, this car kept perfect idle, perfect temperature the whole time. Uh, we left it idling because it has been running it so long, might as well let the engine do its thing, I mean. But man, what a pleasure to drive this car, man. A real six liter, 560 SEC with the hammer engine and the wide body and the full AMG kit, of course, AMG wheels. But yeah, man, shout out to everybody that got a hammer out there. Some of the greatest pieces of engineering ever made. AMG boys, let's go. Alright guys, welcome back to the Mecca, welcome back to the Kingdom, Boca Raton, you already know what it is. Biggest ever do it, Patina Collective, another day right now in the beautiful sunny state of Florida. And we're about to do something special once again, like we always do about this time, we're taking out the Picasso C140 right now, taking it out to the beach, man, I got a cruise, gonna get some shots for y'all from the social media, and enjoy the ride for ourselves. Patina boys, another day, let's go. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's good to play. Oh, you got the shirt to match too. I had to do it. <laughs> I should drive in reverse to the beach. Be yeah. fine. Nah, it was even doing it in reverse. <laughs> nah, fuck that. You can't do it. Guys, the Picasso needs brakes. We didn't realize how bad the brakes were until we pulled it out. Too many cars. Can't keep track. Enjoy the barbie. Take your track. All right, so we got this running today. Yeah. It's running pretty good. Makes good power. Oh, yeah? Uh, now we're finishing up the brakes in the back and then the rear sway bar, and then we can move it around. Perfect. Thank God. Yeah. So it's not that bad. The guy said it has a rusted frame. What about this right there? I see uh, that's the biggest rust spot. That's just over the sway bar. That could be repaired. That okay. has nothing to do with the frame. Perfect. So. The rotors are fine, so it's probably the brake pads. Picasso was making squeaky noises when we were breaking, but now the squealing has gone away and we're just smooth sailing. So we're on our way to the beach in it. I mean, right hand drive, Picasso interior C140 with the purple paint. Never been seen on the streets, man. We gotta bless the block. Let's go. So uh, Axel, uh, we decided to get the team here together and just do a quick uh, quick conversation with you. Vico and I are here along with Bernard and the team that we're doing a uh, our next video this next weekend featuring uh, the Brabus SL7.3S we acquired from you. And we were wondering if you had any period pictures or pictures that you have of the car. The story is pretty cool. I mean, this guy's got an SL65 Black Series as well, but he got this one obviously way earlier. and. He's in the, uh, he's growing like salads and stuff in, you know, big houses. So it's like um, vegetables. Yeah. Uh, so he, he always had a lot of cash. Uh, so he, I think he drove down to Germany with that car. And he basically just put a big suitcase on the table there and said, look, I want the biggest, baddest kit you got for this car. And they said, well, yes, sir, that's the <coughs> one we have. And he paid it cash and drove it home when it was done like half a year later and he's had it since and really used it, you know. I'll, I'll see if he has some old pictures and, uh, and the Mercedes Club in Norway, I think he's been to quite a few trips with them as well. Okay. Um, you know what, I'm going to reach out to him and, and ask him if he's got some cool older pictures of the car, maybe even something from Germany or something like that. It's yeah, so any anything he has would be helpful because they're just trying to document the car for the museum as well as we're doing a video on it so it's exciting yeah thank you so much we really appreciate it yeah 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 my pleasure um so oh, i'm headed today to the town hall the city of tamarack to meet with uh, some key members of the city and its operations and city management function parks uh everything their water management kind of let them know exactly what we got going on with, with the patina collective how we're opening the museum 
how we're bringing the kingdom to another town and are gonna have a, uh, a legendary and uh, memorable destination for Mercedes lovers from all over the world. So I'm uh, gonna uh, share with them a bit of the vision, some early images of what the museum could look like, some uh, early sketches, designs, talk about the impact it's gonna have in the neighborhood. Because when you all come and visit the museum, we want you to have a great time. We want to make sure you're in the right location, you feel good, you're happy to come and enjoy, not just being there, but the whole area. You come down for F1 one year, you maybe come hang out, hang out with us for a couple hours. You know, you come down for a party, a bachelor weekend, you want to come down and, and go somewhere that's conducive to, to, to where you want to spend your money and spend your time. And so we're meeting with the city about how we can make the area around the Patina Collective uh, a very special place to bring in more people. All right, guys, we have a special gift here from uh, one of our friends. Diane doesn't know about this, but I had it made for Patina Collective. And it's a very cool item. We're going to be getting these done to the museum for sure. This is the first one we got done right now. And hey, I love it. The rug. That's amazing. So shout out to just underscore rugging underscore it. Just rugging Beautiful. it. Beautiful. On uh, Instagram. Sick. He gifted this as the first piece to the collective. We love it. Thank you, bro. We're going to be putting this in the sprinter and uh, bringing it on tour and, you know, showing love and. and Putting uh, pretty girls, nice done feet on these. You know what I mean? When you get your pedicures, ladies, whenever you get your pedicures, come put them on the Tina Collective Roy. <laughs> we're now gonna head to the overflow and move some of these cars around. A lot of cars have been sitting around, and we're gonna go open up this toolbox, special, specialized tools, just for Mercedes that we, we came across. We had to snatch them up. So let's go do that. Let's go talk with our guy Wesley. Let's go. Guys, we're back in the trenches. Every hood is open. It's total chaos in here. It's packed in here. It's total chaos. We're back in the trenches. Every hood is open. Every car is broken. It rhymes. Every hood is open. Every car is broken. Project car. Got to come off the lift. Julio's car. Got to go outside. We got fintail after fintail. They're all broken somehow. I mean, what a life. I got a broken fintail in my house. Everything is breaking, but this is just God testing us. You know what I mean? He said, oh, you want to be great? You want to be the greatest? No problem. I got you. Watch this. Right now, I'm just going around with the compound. So it's like, it's just taking down all the swirls. So it leaves a little bit of a haze. But when I go with the uh, next pad, that's when it start popping and shining. Pretty much did the top, the sides, I'm doing the back, then I gotta do the front, and then I'll go and with the next pad, start swirl removing, and then we polish, and then that's it. Come on guys, the biggest car show of the year, Rick Ross Car Show, I'm getting ready. Sick. This one right, this one's gonna be a showstopper for real. For real? The all yellow with the phone yeah. inside. I mean, lemon um, drop. This car is nasty. We got this all yellow on yellow Carlson. We got the red Cooney. The black dumb white SL. Just bop, bop, bop. Yo, this is gonna be stupid, man. Come on, y'all ain't ready. We're gonna move this Targa with the propane tank in the trunk. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. We're gonna start moving these cars around. So shout out to helmet. Wesley, congratulations getting this car running. Very yes. good job. <laughs> <laughs> this, and then this. So we have to push it up. Yeah. Hey guys, as you may know, at the Patina Collective, we do a lot of special things. So with special things come special responsibilities and special tools. And Pierre, the mad scientist, the genius himself, hit us up one day and said, hey, buy these tools. Don't even ask questions, just buy them. So bought this 
big box full of mystery tools off of eBay. And now it's here at the Patina Collective and we're gonna open it with our guy Wesley and our guy Bernard. And we're gonna make sure we document everything and get it on camera for you guys, all right? So get ready, it's the Patina boys with the Patina tools. A lot of the stuff is useless garbage, but it's actually useful, supposedly. All right, guys, that's it for today. We just um, moved all these cars out of the overflow, finally made it a workable environment again. We um, got Wesley to sort out all the tools, the specialty tools, with the help of Bernard, of course. And uh, yeah, man, we're about to get out of here. It's another day in the paradise, another day in the kingdom. The Boca, Vuitton, boys, you already know what it is, Patina, let's go.